Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Electrical Concepts. My name is Avigyan Roy. So in this video lecture, I'll be talking about why do the motor speed and current vary when load is changed. All right. So as you can see here, the steady state speed of constant fill flux DC motor in RPM is this. In one of my video lectures, I have shown the derivation of this equation here n is the speed in rpm and this is the steady state speed and this is the relationship among speed armature voltage and load torque tl and rest are the constants okay kt is the torque constant b is the viscous constant r a is the armature resistance so these things i have discussed uh, in one of my video lectures i will uh, give the link in the description box so kindly watch that video uh, then come back to this video all right so before going further first let's understand uh, this fact that why the motor speed and current vary when load is changed okay and let's understand this from a layman perspective then i will uh, go in detail in mathematical analysis all right so just imagine you are running in the field having a backpack so one of your friends comes to you and he suppose puts one kg of stone in that bag okay so suppose initially you were running with that bag and that bag had nothing okay so you were running with that empty bag so you were running freely but the moment that friend puts one kg of stone and asks you to run in that case you need to put more effort compared to the previous case right and maybe your speed will be reduced right so you just compare yourself with the motor and you just compare that bag full of stone with the load and the effort you are putting for running that you can compare with the current drawn by the motor or the power drawn by the motor all right so that means actually what is happening initially there were there there was no stone inside the bag that means it was no load case so you were running freely that means motor was running at no load speed now the friend puts one kg of stone that means some load is uh, applied on the motor so obviously you need to put more effort that means the motor will try to draw more current and obviously your speed will be reduced right uh, if you compare with the with your previous case this time you will uh, run with lesser speed okay and also the motor will rotate with lesser speed so now you can actually easily compare what is actually happening okay so this is the layman concept so now i will uh, give the mathematical explanation behind this okay so uh, one more thing i have forgot to mention see first we need to understand what is load i mean many people have the, this confusion that uh, what do you mean by load torque okay so load torque is nothing but the torque that is provided by the uh, load itself okay and uh, if i uh, explain this in a, in a simpler way then i can say load torque is a force in terms of weight weight is nothing but a force okay your body weight or weight of any object is nothing but a force right so load torque is same thing that means in case of motor load is mechanical type that means it is mechanical load, load right so what is mechanical load it is nothing but uh, putting some object uh, or adding some object uh, onto the system and that is why the overall weight of the system gets increased okay Let just for, for an example you are driving a car okay and you have one friend in this car so there are two people inside that car right so suppose another friend gets into the car that means the load of the car gets increased because now overall system weight is increased similarly if one people one friend gets down from the car the load is decreased that means the overall weight of the car is decreased so load is nothing but a weight that means you are putting some weight okay that weight might be might be uh, uh, human's weight or weight of any object the torque that, that is generated by the motor itself that needs to overcome this load torque that means that torque needs to overcome this force which is nothing but the weight so this is the concept of load torque or load okay 
and also one more thing torque is also uh, one kind of force okay in a rotational system you must have studied torque is nothing but a force in rotational system the term force in is used normally for linear system in physics but for rotational system we don't use the term force rather we use an equivalent term that is called torque so torque is nothing but a force but for rotational system like motor okay so torque is a force the weight is a force okay so here these things are nothing but different forms of forces all right and these two forces are opposite to each other that means higher the weight higher will be the opposing force lesser will be speed higher will be the current okay so now let's uh, go further and this uh, plot you have uh, already seen in the video lecture i have uh, talked about and i will also give the link in the description box there i have analyzed how this expression uh, this graph i obtained actually this is nothing but uh, an equation of a straight line having negative slope and this came from this equation itself okay if you uh, clearly observe this equation is nothing but uh, an equation of a straight line having negative slope so this is your no load speed so as the load keeps on increasing your speed keeps on falling okay so this is the point where rated load is reached okay so now so now it is clear that why uh, your speed falls when your load is increased okay this is clear from this equation also so see if your load is increased your speed will fall and that is also clear from this graph also okay it is clearly seen from this graph so here same thing i have exp uh, expressed that if your load torque is increased your speed will fall now we also know the back emf of the dc motor uh, is directly proportional to the speed in rpm and one more thing i uh, want to mention here uh, this equation or these things uh, all these things are applicable for constant fill flux dc motor okay i have also mentioned here okay so for motor like dc series motor where fill flux is not constant there some modifications are required so here just uh, consider a constant fill flux dc motor like pm dc motor or decision motor okay so we can write back emf is directly proportional to speed so now if your speed is falling what will happen your back emf will also fall if your back emf falls your armature current will increase why because you know this equation armature current is nothing but the potential difference of va and eb divided by ra va is the armature voltage eb is the back emf and ra is the armature resistance so if your eb is reduced your armature current will increase so what is the conclusion the conclusion is if your load torque is increased your armature current will also increase okay that means the motor will draw more and more current so this is the mathematical explanation that why the motor current increases when your load is increased similarly if your uh, load torque is reduced your speed will be increased this from this equation it is clear or from this graph also you can say if load is reduced speed will increase if speed is increased back emf will increase if your back emf is increased your armature current will decrease that means motor will draw lesser current at lesser load right so now let's see this thing from mathematical point of view so uh, you will get this equation if you uh, do some manipulation see uh, you know this value of armature current okay so here you uh, just replace this n that means speed with back emf okay and then replace this back emf with armature current and you will get this expression and as you can see this expression uh, shows an equation of a straight line having positive slope see it is just y is equal to mx plus c this is the standard equation of a straight line so here i is the armature current tl is the load torque and this term is completely a constant value okay and one more thing you may get confused so you may you may say that if your armature voltage is zero then also you are getting some value of armature current but it is not the concept here i have already mentioned va is fixed you cannot make va to be zero 
okay because if your va is zero that means there is no even supply voltage so how the motor uh, will even run okay so mathematically although it comes that some value is coming but it is not it is hypothetical concept it cannot be true because whatever mathematical analysis i am showing here that is completely based on a specific value of va okay so you cannot make va to be zero there must be some value of va okay so this term is constant so if you increase your load torque armature current will also increase so it is this is equation of a straight line having positive slope as you can see here so this is your armature current this is your speed and as you can see at no load this is the no load current that means if you put tl equals to zero what will be the no load current this term will be the no load current that means this is this ia no load is nothing but this expression okay similarly if you keep on increasing your load torque the current will also increase and at this point that means tl rated you will get ia rated that means at rated load torque you will get rated current armature current okay so this is the overall view all right so now i think you got a clear idea that why the motor speed and current vary when the load is changed all right uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video and please like share comment and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel in next video lecture i will come up with some more interesting concepts like this thanks for watching goodbye